Okay, so apparently this random video I made for my friend, uh, which I probably should have made private, ended up getting a few hundred more views than I anticipated. So I feel I ought to do another tutorial on how we're going to move the Ethereum that you've mined onto your MetaMask wallet, and then of course onto the Binance exchange for that dirty gross fiat dollar, euro, whatever it is that you use, doesn't matter. The point is we're going to be moving that Ethereum from Ethermine to MetaMask to Binance. So if you don't have MetaMask, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but it just, it's like a Chrome tab. It's super easy. It's a nice little wallet. You just hit download now. And then you're just going to install MetaMask for Chrome. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to do that because I already have it. But I'll just leave this down in the description if you don't have it already. I'm going to talk really quick about the Ethermine payout policy. So there's four payout options. Uh, however, we're only going to be covering three of the main ones. Uh, daily is usually not really an option. Like, if it is, I mean, good for you, you're balling. I mean, that's 0.1 ETH a day. Uh, it's it's pretty hard to get there as a small miner. So other your most common one's going to be monthly withdrawals. Um, so the monthly withdrawal. Automatic payout on the 28th of each month for all balances above 0 0.01 ETH that have not received a payout during the last 21 days. Network TXV paid by the pool. Now this is important because if you're a smaller miner, it's kind of nice to get all the money that you've worked for, you know, compared to having to pay a little bit of a gas fee. However, if the gas fee is low, it's not such a big deal. So we're going to be covering my uh, manual as well. And of course, there is a Polygon, but I don't really recommend it. There are typically higher fees because you're going to be losing money in converting uh, to your tokens. So I would just go with a manual withdrawal when the fees are low. Alright, so first things first. I saved up some ETH this time <laughs> because I thought maybe it's best that I actually send the money to my wallet, huh? Instead of just showing you a picture of me doing it in the past. I'm obviously not going to be showing my IP, uh, but what you're going to want to do as soon as you connect here to Ethermine is you'll want to connect your wallet. And you can do that as simply as just hitting that and boom, one click and it's done, huh? If you haven't done it before, you may be prompted to sign in. I'm not entirely sure. If so, it, it's just as simple as signing into your MetaMask. It's not a lot of work. So you'll be hitting request right here. And you've already connected your wallet. So once again, make sure that this is your wallet. You want to be sending the money to your address. So we're going to hit sign and submit. So, we're just going to hit sign right here, alright? You don't have to modify anything at all. As soon as you do that, you'll see payout request submitted successfully. After that, it's just a matter of time. Okay, so now that we're waiting on the funds to transfer from our Ethermine to our MetaMask, let's hook up our Binance to our MetaMask as well. Huh? So, you're going to want to open up your Binance, and then in the top right hand corner, select the wallet icon. Drop down to Fiat and Spot, and then just click on that. From there, you're going to want to find Deposit, because we're going to be sending money from one wallet to our exchange. So you're going to want to select the Crypto option, and then for your coin, find Ethereum. Select Ethereum, and then for the network, ensure that you have ERC20 selected. This is the network for Ethereum. From there, you're going to want to copy your address here. This is your Binance address. Make sure you only send Ethereum to this deposit address. Alright, so our Ethereum has arrived into our MetaMask wallet. So we're simply just going to hit send. And even though I already have it here, I'm doing it with you all over again. So I'll hit Control V, 
and we're just going to select max because I want to send as much as I can to the exchange to get the dirty fiat. I'm not going to modify the transaction, feel free to do it if you wish. Uh, however, I find that average is, well, average. <laughs> and you just simply hit next. This is just a confirmation. You just hit confirm. And it will be pending on the chain. So after that, it's just a matter of waiting. It will arrive at your Binance destination. Granted, you've done everything in this video. And then from there, you can go to your trade if you want to get rid of it. Go to your Bitcoin. And you'll just you'll sell it on the market. Don't you dare do a limit. If I catch you doing a limit, I'll beat you. Sell it at market. It's not going to show up on Binance yet. So, anyway, I appreciate it if you watched all the way to the end. I hope that it was a little bit more informative, and uh, good luck with your mining. Peace.